What is going on, you guys? And that awesome music represents one of my favorite games ever created. The Kingdoms of Avalon. This game, I've been playing this game for a very, very long time for the 360 when it came out for the 360. And I bought it off of Steam not too long ago. I told them we needed more cars. I've already done the opening sequence, so you guys didn't have to sit through there. But this game, ugh, I have so many memories playing this game. It's not even funny. We're still getting used to the controls. So. Uh, coolness. This was my favorite setup, was daggers and a staff. Plus, the magic in this game is OP as hell. This game, I decided to do because, um, hold on. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Yes. Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Sure, man. Oh, uh, this is so nostalgic. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. Mm -hmm. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. He is. He is. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. Mm -hmm. But Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. Uh -huh. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes. Or in celebration of his success. Whichever. Cool. I didn't actually expect that to work. <laughs> That's okay, you, I was dead too. <laughs> Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. All right. Now, anyway, as I was saying, I thought this game would be pretty cool to play because not only would it be a throwback for a lot of PC gamers, if you're a PC gamer, there is no doubt that you have probably heard of or played the Kingdoms of Amalur. Because this game is awesome. What well, it is to me, I admit this is an acquired taste, you know. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, the memories! Alright, now check this out, guys. You don't actually kill them in this mode until it's the last person. And then you can do this. Which is... Amazing as shit! I love doing that. Ah, oh. Ah, oh, so many throwback memories. Anyway. What? How? What are you? Uh. The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was that supposed is true. to work. See, that's how the thing about this. That? If you don't know the story of Kingdoms of Amalur, whenever you, whenever you start the game, you're dead. Your character is dead. But you're brought back to life because of the Well of Souls. And somehow you gain the ability to alter people's fate. Which is an amazing storyteller right there. That is just awesome. Hughes may have brought you See? back to life. But that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Now, as for Come anything here. else, I'm, going I'm to not sure. Reading. You might be able to change because the technically threats, I never beat this game because I got to obsessed with the side quests and that. exploring and.
That would be my guess. Um, he was an academic, but he had a but this game is awesome. I love it Unlike so most much. This game, and there was another game that you guys probably know that everyone has to know. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Ugh. Ugh, my favorite game. That is my favorite game. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Anyway, um, who you are, what you This done, game is more of a uh, path takes you, or at least I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Mm -hmm. Yours is just. Missing. See? This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. See? Okay, now... While I've got a break here, the reason I'm doing Kingdoms of Amalur I don't know if I'm going to do a complete series on it, you know, like, to follow the story. I may just do some side quests, you know, but I may do the story. If you guys would like to see the story to Kingdoms of Amalur, I would gladly play it for you guys. Because, personally, it would be a new experience for me because I've never actually followed the story before. So, if you guys would like to see that, let me know by liking this video. And, you know, if you guys want to, leave a comment down below, you know... Just let me know, and I will gladly play through the story if you guys would like to see that. But anyway, the reason I'm playing this game is because I've been doing a lot of horror games recently. And I know that horror games can get kind of repetitive. So what I'm doing is, I'm doing this as to kind of take us away, to step back, to take a little bit of a break. So, I'm doing this one. I'm also going to be starting up like Kerbal Space Program. You know, we're going to have some stuff that's not just horror games. And I'm not stopping horror games. Don't be afraid of that. I love horror games too much to stop. So, I'm definitely going to be doing more of those. But, I mean, this is just... We're going to do Acolyte. There we go. I can see the threads around you. But they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally, uh -huh. the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, Apparently. and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing. Here we go. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. Uh -huh. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Oh, this is so cool, man. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Ooh, okay. But yeah, this is this is a huge throwback. Like, I'm not even joking. I've been playing this game for so long on the 360 that. <laughs> I know just about everything about this game. So this is really cool for me to be able to play this for you guys. I hope you guys like this as much as I do. Their echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of That's a lore stone, by the way. It tells you a little bit about the game. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker. The conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart. <laughs> I 
love use of magic. Magic's so cool. I don't even know if I get XP for killing them. I think I do. There's not much though. Alright, there. my first side quest comes up down here. I'm going to start up a side quest. And then I'm going to try to do a little bit Everyone of it. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so yeah. close. Oh. Go back to your business. Go on. Oh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Oh. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. Oh. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Yeah, that's normally how it can works. you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I agree. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I Equality, don't know if I could save a mortal with such grievous Equality. wounds. Yeah, man. I'm the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Oh. ...untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Uh huh. Seek her wisdom. I would do oh. it, but... I'm a coward. That's the truth. <laughs> Perhaps a fae will know how hey, to Hey, at least her. you're honest, my friend. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking oh. the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly Honesty's are. Honesty's key. Oh. Honesty's key. Alright. Bye now. These are strange times. Alright. So. Hello. Hello. So. We need to go up over on the hill. Hold on, let me activate this quest real quick. If I can remember how. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll just wing it. I know where it is. It's up here. Alright. This. I did play a lot of these side quests and stuff back whenever I first played Kingdoms of Amalur for the 360 a very long time ago. And there are a ton of creatures you can fight as well. Like, I mean... <laughs> Like these Bogarts, they're like uh, they're like spirits of the wood, and then you have the Fade, you have. Hold on, man. Let me fight these guys real quick. You have all the animals out in the wild. You also have creatures like that, the Bogarts. You have the brownies. You have the Fade. You have the fairies. You have sprites. There are a ton. Of creatures and stuff that you can fight and that you can talk to and communicate with out here in this world and it is absolutely amazing Oh, there's also like rock trolls and stuff too, which is really cool. You know, you guys didn't get to see the rock troll because I played through the opening sequence. A rock troll is exactly what it sounds like. It's a giant troll that looks like, you know, has rocks on its back. And it is huge and extremely powerful. Ooh, there's a shrine over there. Or, yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a shrine. Yeah. Oh, I love this so much. Yeah, see? It gives you temporary bonuses. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't like about this is... This was a strange concept to lock picking. Come on. Almost got it. Ah. 
Although, I like it. I like it. It is a strange concept, but I do like it. Um, it's kind of like the, uh, whenever you're, um, lockpicking in the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, I loved the lockpicking mechanic there. Alright. Now we have to talk to this lady right here. She's a fae. Her name's Aerie. May your hollow gods keep you, mortal. I am called Aerie. Your face yeah, they're, is they're kinda, me. They're kinda douchebags. You're different but, you from know, those in Gorhart. They're still cool. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can yeah, offer the Tuatha only are the main bad guys, by the way. Suffice. They're in a war yes, right now. Yes, I witnessed this crime. Although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her oh, only by name. They, they are you slightly must be racist hoping too, that I can by offer the way. Advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. Hmm. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding Douchebags. that you survive as long as you do. Douchebags. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. I don't. I've never focused on alchemy. Farewell. Not in any game I've ever played have I ever focused on alchemy. If I want a potion, I'll just buy it or find one. what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. Oh, these are, these are the bandits, Lystrom, by the way. I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, turned into a man. This man will become your lover. He will provide for you and he will make you laugh and he will make you exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, he will need to peck at things on the ground and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> yeah, some of those are kind of strange, in case you didn't notice by that one lore stone that we just heard. <sighs> oh, it's so good to be back here. I can't remember what we good need day. for the potion. Let's see. I know the apothecary is in one of these. Here we go. Need supplies? Try the corner shop. You there, do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. Uh, no. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? Uh, I don't remember this. I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. Oh, if gee, you must thanks. know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I, I do, do not deserve this, such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Farhal, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. You got it. Where is he? He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhal, the Arathi ruin. 
People say it's haunted, but people say many things. It's probably haunted. Goodbye. All right. All right. Now then, I think that is a really good place to uh, end this episode. Oh yeah, my character's name is Lucy, by the way. I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys would like to see more of Kingdoms of Amalur, then be sure to like this video or leave a comment or both. Please do both. That would be great. And also, if you're new to this channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification symbol next to it. That way you know every video I upload because I upload two videos every single day. And I will see... All of you guys in the next video. See ya!